Hello students, we will do few more problems based on solubility when the common ion is present in the sparingly soluble salt. Okay, so the problem is uh, calculate uh, the solubility of uh, silver chromate. Calculate the solubility of uh, silver chromate uh, in 0 0.1 molar solution of uh, silver nitrate. So, Solubility product of Ag2SO4 has given that is 9.0 into 10 to the power of minus 12. So what is asking calculate the solubility of silver chromate. Calculate solubility of silver chromate that is yes he is asking right. So remember students already we discussed the previous lecture that is when the common ion is present in the sparingly soluble salt what will happen it decrease the solubility of sparingly soluble salt and the reaction shift towards the left hand side so here you can see ag2cro4 this is a silver chromate it is in equilibrium with 2 ag plus plus cro4 minus 2 so this is a chromate ion Example, S moles per liter of Ag2SO4 present in the solution. So, it contains 2S moles per liter of Ag plus ions will present and S moles per liter, S moles per liter of CrO4 minus 2. So, this is 2s moles per liter of Ag plus ions and <coughs> s moles per liter chromate ion will be present. Here what we are doing we are adding silver nitrate. We are adding silver nitrate. It is not a sparingly soluble set. When we are it is dissociate into Ag plus and NO3 minus. It dissociate into Ag plus plus NO3 minus. So, we are adding silver nitrate to the silver chromate solution. Here, what will happen? The Ag plus ions is more in the solution. So, therefore, the solubility of the solubility of silver chromate silver chromate is decreases. The solubility of silver chromate is decreases and the reaction shift towards left hand side. The reaction shift towards left hand side. Okay. So, if the common ion will present and calculate what is the solubility of silver chromate. Right here, it is completely dissociated into the solution. So, therefore, the concentration of Ag plus is higher than the the Ag plus ions which are present in the silver chromate solution because here it is a very slow, very small amount of dissociation is possible, but here the large amount of Ag the large amount of Ag plus ions present in the solution. So when we compare the concentration of Ag plus, here the concentration of 2 Ag plus will be very less. So we can neglect the value. So here we are adding Ag plus ions, Ksp of Ag2CrO4, Ksp of Ag2CrO4, silver chromate, that is equilibrium with Ag2Ag plus, plus CrO4 minus 2. So, this is 2S yes. here. Yeah. So, Ksp is equal to, we will write 2S plus whole square plus uh, or into yes okay but we are adding ag plus ions to the silver chromate solution so therefore it becomes 2s into so we are adding 0 0.1 molar of silver nitrate solution into yes moles per liter of chromate ion so when we compare to the the concentration of ag plus ions to silver chromate ion will be very less. So, therefore, here 
zero point one is greater than two s. So therefore, the very small amount of Ag plus ions which are present in the silver chromate solution. So therefore, when we compare to the G zero point one molar solution, so we can neglect the Ag plus ion concentration. So therefore, Ksp is equal to therefore. Ksp is equal to Ksp of Ag2 SCrO4 is equal to 0.1 whole square into solubility S. Yes. So Ksp of Ag2 CrO4 already we know that is 9.0 into 10 to the power of minus 12 that is equal to 0.01 into S. Yes. So therefore here you can see. 9 point yes is equal to 9 point 0 into 10 to the power of minus 12 divided by 0 point 0 so that is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 is multiplying with the numerator value that is equal to 9 point 0 into 10 to the power of minus 10 moles per liter moles per liter so this is the answer so when we are adding a common ion to the sparingly soluble salt so it decrease the solubility of sparingly soluble salt and the reaction shifts towards the left hand side solubility product of magnesium chloride is 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 11 calculate the solubility of mgf2 in 0.01 molar sodium fluoride solution the given options are okay so so this is a sparingly soluble salt so that is magnesium chloride is equilibrium with mg plus 2 plus 2 into f minus here ksp of magnesium fluoride is equal to that is yes moles per liter moles per liter that is equal to yes moles per liter and this is 2 into yes moles per liter 2 into yes moles per liter so that is yes into 2 yes whole square means f minus 2 whole square f minus 2 whole square here we are adding sodium fluoride to this solution so this is a completely dissociate into the solution so na plus and dissociate into na plus and f minus ion into the aqueous solution here so we are adding sodium fluoride to this sparingly soluble salt of magnesium fluoride here the common ion is f minus here the common ion is f minus so the concentration of this common ion is 0.01 molar the concentration of common ion is 0.01 molar here when we are adding common ion to the sparingly soluble salt what will happen so it decrease the solubility of sparingly soluble salt and the reaction shifts towards the left hand side that is very very important okay so when we compare it to the the common ion so here what will happen so the solubility of uh, the sparingly soluble salt ion is very less so therefore here that is uh, mgf2 so i'll write here so mgf2 or ksp of uh, mgf2 is equal to solubility product of uh, mgf2 that is equal to solubility s yes, moles per liter into so this is 2s plus 0.01 whole square 0.01 whole square so when we compare to this molarity so it is very less so therefore 0.01 is greater than greater than of 2s so therefore we can neglect the value is negligible so therefore ksp of MgF2 is equal to yes moles per liter into 0.01 
whole square. 0 0.01 whole square. We know the value of uh, solubility product of magnesium fluoride that is uh, 7.4 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 11. So that is equal to solubility moles per liter into 0 0.01 whole square. That is equal to yes moles per liter. Yes moles per liter is equal to 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 11 divided by the value is 10 power minus 4. So after simplification the value is 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 moles per liter. 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 moles per 